We want to get back to our weather coverage because as you take a live look at the uh, JW Marriott and uh, Victory Field, a lot of places getting some heavy rain right now still. Absolutely, and some of the more dramatic pictures we've seen have really been in the Hamilton County yeah. area. Too. I had uh, someone, they got over t two inches of rain in 95 minutes. Oh, wow. wow. All right, and this is the radar rain estimates in that area where Emily was, where the water rescues were, uh, Lark Avenue there uh, near Carmel. All right, so uh, that's one zone that got hit very hard. Another uh, where we ha also have flash flood warnings. Uh, this includes windfall, Tipton, uh, Kokomo. These flash flood warnings go until 8 o'clock. A lot of waters and uh, a lot of roads, I should say, in Kokomo covered up. Uh, that batch of heavy rain is lifting to the north of Kokomo. Most of the rain done in Hamilton County, but it's going to take a little bit for that water to recede. And I suspect we are definitely going to get some more uh, flood issues because these rain rates are very impressive. In fact, had a report out of Rushville of four inch per hour rain rate. So very heavy stuff now setting up over Richmond, and uh, we're getting some scans with live Doppler 13 radar that suggests just above ground level, about 50 to 55 mile per hour wind. Some of that could get transferred down toward the ground near Hagerstown and near Richmond. So uh, some little pockets of wind damage can't be ruled out. It's quiet for the time being. You go down state and it's anything but, and that's an unfortunate thing because this is an area that's been hit very hard, and we've got heavy rain over Bedford now. Heavy rain over Bloomington. That's moving over Nashville. We've had uh, Rich Van Wyke down in Brown County. They don't need the heavy rain, but they're going to get it here. Seymour, Columbus, another batch on the way here. So the flash flood watch will continue into tomorrow afternoon. And uh, we were calling for one to three locally higher amounts. Some of you will get that in a short period of time. We will continue to see some scattered downpours tonight. I think the risk of severe weather is going to be very limited, but flooding remains fairly high on the list of what could impact your area. This is at midnight, so still downpours across central Indiana. Tomorrow we'll still have some of these as well, although I think by this time tomorrow we should begin to start to see some sunshine across central Indiana, so I'll hold hope for that this in the afternoon. And then as we go move forward, we'll have to wait and watch. The models are beginning to latch on the idea that there's going to be a disturbance coming through perhaps on Friday close enough that warrants the possibility of some thunderstorms Friday afternoon. And then once we get into the weekend, we're going to have this front stall out across the area. And it's going to be a broken record forecast once again as we get into the weekend here. Scattered but heavy thunderstorms Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And that water is going to have nowhere to go. So the flash flood threat will remain high into early next week. Right, Sean. Thanks. Yeah.